Nina, Nina, come on. Give me a chance. You had your chance, okay? We're done. Thanks. You can't do this to me. Yes, I can, Lucas. Goodbye. Victims Nina Wilshire. Cat lady down the hall heard the shots and called it in. A minute later, the alarm from the fire exit downstairs went off, probably the shooter getting away. Looks like the Wild West in here. I count at least a dozen 9 millimeter casings. Yeah, some slugs hit the stereo equipment. Oh, well, maybe she played her music too loud. The rest of the place looks untouched. Oh. What's that? Well, it looks like somebody missed a jackpot here. It's Reardon. Miss Wilshire has a Basquiat. A couple of Glen Ligons. It's $2 million worth of artwork, easy. My guess, our guy didn't come for the art. Got hits in the face and the upper torso. Shooter probably let loose the second she opened the door. Hello. And goodbye. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Was she seeing anyone? I don't think there was anyone special. Nina prized your independence. We understand. Ma'am, we saw that she had a lot of expensive artwork. She bought pieces for her clients. Nina had her own interior design business. She was very successful. We have to ask, did she have any involvement with drugs or gambling? No, of course not. I, um, I have some photo albums. I'd like you to see how special my daughter was. <laughs> Please. Two hours of looking at old pictures. You're complaining? Ladies with their dogs, children coming home from school, no suspects here. Assuming the killers entered through the lobby. Killers? Yeah. Ballistic says two guns were used, both nines. Well, look at all this. Well, I'm guessing these aren't for wool sweaters. Hey, guys, open these, please. Cabbage patch. I wonder where all this came from. Whoa. Whew. Skunkweed. Forget interiors, our guy was designing drug deals. That's a hazardous occupation. Puts her argument with her chiropractor in a whole new light. Fellow dope dealer. He's gotta be on somebody's radar. Can I call my mom? Wait. Uh, Lucas, I'll get back to you. There's a kid at the door. A minute after this, the lady down the hall heard the shots. No, we think the killers used this kid to get Nina to open her door. But didn't we see a bunch of kids go in that building? Right, coming back from school. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Stop it there. What about him? You see that bulge in his waistband? Under his shirt? He's carrying a piece. Huh. The killers didn't use the kids as access. The killers were the kids. Please, everyone on the ground, now! Rafael Alvarez, Samuel Molina, and Carlos Cabezas, murder in the second degree. Esther Pin from Legal Aid have been assigned to all three defendants. 
At this point, the people have no objection to the joint representation. Good, because I've been retained by the families of the three children. Marcus Wall, Your Honor. Thanks for keeping the seat warm. Uh, my clients plead not guilty. I ask that they be ROR'd. Judge, I know Mr. Wall from his time in the DA's office. These defendants come from modest backgrounds, and I am sure that Mr. Wall is not here pro bono. I'd like to inquire as to the source of his retainer. Counsel knows that's not relevant. What is relevant is that we have three juveniles, two 14-year-olds and a 16-year-old, without records. Each of them will be tried as an adult for his role in a brutal execution. Mr. Molina and Mr. Cabezas are from Brownsville, Texas. They don't even have families here to be released to. Their guardians are en route, Judge. Good. They can visit them at Bridges. Remanded. Enjoy it while it lasts, Coney. Motion to suppress all evidence found inside the building. Ballistics tied the guns in the house to Nina Wilshire's shooting and to two other murders in Philly and in Newark. The victims were all major drug dealers. The DEA suspects that they were targeted by the Vela cartel out of Mexico. A Mexican drug cartel is relying on children to carry out their murders? These children are trained assassins. Yeah, the police found these in the house. Some kind of training camp. Intel says it's located somewhere in the Sierra Madre foothills of eastern Mexico. We figure the Velo cartel trained and parked these kids in the Scarsdale house to use when needed. And for some reason, they needed to kill Nina Wilshire. Which is odd, because she wasn't a major player. Well, we might get the answer when we find this Joe character. Most likely, he ran the assassination team. We lean on the kids hard enough, one of them might roll on him. Assuming you survive this motion to throw out the evidence, Marcus Wall was a formidable attorney when he worked in this office. No reason to think he's slacked off now. Ms. Vasquez is a convicted prostitute. It was reasonable to assume she received that money from the occupants of the house in return for sex. Since the money tested positive for cocaine, it was reasonable to suspect that cocaine was present in the house. Mr. Wall, do you dispute the test results on the money? I don't, Your Honor. Provided the court takes notice of a study that shows that 90% of all banknotes in circulation contain cocaine residue. If you can get a search warrant because the bill tests positive for drugs, then no home is safe from unreasonable searches. The home in question had independent ties to a drug murder. You're reaching, Counselor. I'm suppressing everything seized in the house pursuant to that warrant. In light of the court's ruling, I move to dismiss all charges against my clients for lack of evidence. We have video placing Alvarez and Molina at the crime scene. I'll sustain the indictments against Alvarez and Molina, but I'm dismissing all charges against Mr. Cabezas. Mrs. Alvarez, we know you're scared, but we can help Rafa. We want the people who told him to kill this girl. I think we can change Rafa's mind. We went to see him yesterday. He laughed about that girl. What did he say? He sang this song. La gringa brava no tiene ningún miedo. Ella tiene corazón de un león. La gringa brava has no fear. She has a lion's heart. Isabel, we should just listen. See how they can help us with Rafa. No. I will not ask him to speak against those people. We have all the children to worry about. I, uh, I'm sorry. 